Pentagon has a new tool to ease tensions with crowds, but they're not using it just yet. Peter Ducey in advance tries it out for himself. You can't see it, hear it, or smell it, but it makes unruly mobs do this. The Defense Department's active denial system, a non-lethal weapon that can be used to control crowds, secure perimeters, and keep pirates at bay. It could be a game changer. This is one of the things that we can shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, normally you can't do that. The military says the active denial system is not radioactive, it's not a microwave, and it's not a laser beam. It's instead a man-sized beam of millimeter waves that can be fired from up to a thousand meters away that are designed to get the subject, whoever's standing on this X, really, really hot so that they move. <laughs> and it's about 50 degrees out here right now, but I just felt like it was about a thousand and I've never been inside a tub that somebody dropped a hair dryer in, but I would imagine that that's what it feels like. After about 1.5 seconds, 1 64th of an inch of my skin was 130 degrees, but as soon as I stepped away, it was over and the DOD says there aren't any lingering effects. There's no um, cancer risk, there's no um, risk to a fetus or reproductive capability, it's just heat. But the DOD admits this system does have a drawback. We are propagating through the air. We are therefore relatively line of sight. And so we need to be line of sight with targets. A prototype costs $10 million and there are no plans to deploy one anytime soon. At Marine Base Quantico in Virginia, Peter Ducey, Fox News. <laughs>